Hello. The quest for the... Connery. I was going to say it. Gonna. You were talking about all this professionalism. Yeah, but professionalism just keep going. Even if someone right. Knows. The, the quest, quest for Connery, Connery review, review number 37. 37. You messed up. You said 27 almost. I did not say 27. <laughs> what film are we watching? The oh, Longest day. day. And it's starring Sean Connery, Ob, and, and everyone else. From 1960. I know. Well, well 62, 61. It's the last film he did before Doctor No, when he got to stardom. Yeah. Um, what's interesting about this film is like also like A Bridge Too Far's other war film. Yeah. It's a massive multicasted thing. <laughs> Loads of different characters. Yeah. In this one, however, it works a lot better. It does. We, we have it 7 out of 10. And that's because I think we felt that even though it follows lots of different characters, it has got main characters which you see. Sort of, there's like a sort of development of story in an essence, isn't well, there? Well, no. In, in the... Um, I guess with The Bridge Too Far, it gave you all these, ma- all these main characters. There was a lot of main characters. Mm. But it didn't give you enough time to get to know them or blah, 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 stuff like that. But with this one, it's little snippets of people. So it's little scenarios, maybe like a little clip show, and they're all put together, mm. which is better because each clip has something significant to say about the operation that's going to happen because it's just before D-Day, and they're like, should we go, sure, should we not? The longest day is D-Day, effectively. Yeah, the yeah. longest day is um, D-Day, uh, 6th of June, 44. 44. And um, it's all about the build-up to that and then the actual first day itself. So... Because what the director was trying to say is that the whole operation wasn't down to just one person. It was all these groups of people. Yeah. And I can't even remember uh, the characters' names, but there were these little significant ones that all had a say. Like John Wayne's oh, pretty good, actually. John Wayne's good. And um, Richard Burton had this little bit as an RAF pilot. And he was like literally just a little snippet of how the RAF helped at the beginning. And then he was at the end again. Yeah. When it was like, oh, God, was it all worth it? Or something like that. So it yeah. had the good juxtaposition of like... Um, the heroes going in, but then at the end, it's like, what a waste of life at the same time. And it was good um, showing the Germans' view as well, because there was that German um, pilot who was like, oh, you idiots, you've just cost yeah, yeah. us the war, because they wouldn't leave planes with him and stuff. I just thought it was a really good, clever film. I just really enjoyed it. I, just thought, I thought, because like, then you didn't have to, you weren't just, you could engage with these little characters more rather than having to focus on one loads of big characters that just kept disappearing for like 20, 50 minutes or something like that. Yeah. So we get 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. What was wrong with it? I just, I think, I think... I don't think there was much wrong, wrong with it, it really. It just wasn't particularly... Yeah, um, so it needs to be sort of special, I guess, made to make maybe, it a 7 out of 10. Maybe John Wayne. Marks. I didn't think there was much point to John Wayne, really. Like, they Probably. tried to make him, they gave him the most screen time, I think, but maybe that hindered the film in the end because... He's, I don't think his story was the most interesting one, to be honest. I, I think he's. I mean, he's got a bit of charisma to carry it through. Yeah. Well, but the only the reason they hired him is big because star, big, yeah, big star. name at the time. Um, this was one of the ex- most expensive films at the time, something like that. Richard Zanuck, the won, guy called it. Yeah, he won two Oscars for special effects and cinematography. And uh, Connor's in it is, is a small, like I think it's in for about two minutes, something like that. Uh, and the reason Connor's in it, of course, it's by 20th Century Fox. He's under contract to them, and it's probably the last one he doesn't contract to them before he gets famous. And they just sort of drafted him in to play a... Play his private Flanagan. Another Irish guy. <laughs> Why are they always putting with Irish people? And it's, yeah, I mean, it's a bit amusing. He's a bit of a fool. He falls out of a plane. Uh, He's like, plane. I, want to, I want to kill some Germans. And then just falls straight out of one of those D-Day boats into the yeah. water. I can't remember what boats are called. Yeah, some fresh landing mentioned. boats. Landing boats, yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, so, I mean, he's nothing special. And he just turns up and he shoots his gun a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of, a bit of mini comedy, right? Like, doesn't really. he get there and they've missed the war? Because they've already landed or something. I don't think he's, he, not, he's definitely not in the first wave because he, he, he would get shot yeah, straight away. Yeah, okay. But yeah, no, he, he, he does his, you know, does his stuff. Yeah. Adds a bit of humour. But I mean, it's kind of weird thinking like, oh, a little five minute roll, but what's next up to no? Yeah, I mean, to what, go from take this off to boom, out of nowhere. But yeah, I mean, especially, I mean, it, it, is, it is definitely a, very much a war film. Yeah. So if you don't like war films, you won't enjoy it. If you do like war films, however, it, it, it's one of it, it's good, it's a good one of its types. It's about why the day succeeded and why the Germans failed, mm-hmm. which is um, interesting. And since we are kind of historians... I guess that's... more interesting than The Bridge Too Far with the Operation Market... Was it Market Garden? Yeah. Because it failed. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> good a to see that. us actually winning. Something for a change. Bit but, like, positive. But, this, but like, because um, Richard Attenborough on Bridge Too Far was like, oh, well, I want to see how the Allies kind of messed up and stuff. Well, it's like, well, this, this film doesn't show that the Allies were really clever and were like, oh, yeah, it was luck. 
and but like you said, a lot of people put their own effort into it. Yeah, so and um, and things. the Ger- and it's because of the Germans messing up as well. So you know, different. Factors. He's not saying that these guys are the outright heroes and like, oh my god, they were amazing. There's no, there's no they, moral they outwitted, judgment. Outwitted the Germans. No, it's nothing like that. At the end of the day, war a lot of the time is luck, and they got lucky. It's quite a dramatic note to end on. Yeah. So seven out of ten. Boom. End it. Mm.